And our final coach this morning is the head coach of the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers, Joe Moglia. Morning, Coach. Morning, Mark. Chanticleers with a 46-13 win over PC last Saturday to clinch a share of the Big South regular season championship at 4-1. Congratulations to you and the team for that. 10-1 overall, and then you play your regular season finale this coming Saturday at South Carolina. Uh, let's open up first, talk about the, the win over PC, and then we'll move to talk about the Gamecocks. Well, I think it was one of those games where uh, it was one of those games where uh, I think our guys needed to bounce back after our loss uh, the week before. Um, we, we, that, that was important to us. Uh, I, I think we approached the game that way. I thought we had a good game plan across the board. Uh, we had a very, very good week of practice, and it was one of those days where literally everything clicked, and uh, our special teams were effective. The, the, the defense had their best outing of the year. You know, and the offense, you know, has been having a great year, and they, they, they had a, certainly a very, very good game the other day. So everything came together. I had mentioned last week that I think when you look at Hal's team, uh, there's almost two versions of that. You know, the, the second version is the one with McMath, the quarterback, and he had been throwing the ball very, very well. And I thought we did a reasonable job of being able to contain him, and that had a lot to do with the ultimate success. All right, and uh, touch on this week's opponent, South Carolina, uh, and, and what your initial thoughts on are they? Well, South Carolina is, you know, one of the elite football teams in the, in the country. Uh, you know, I think they're ranked 11th nationally. Um, they have a shot, you know, at the SEC. Um, I mean, they're having a great season. They're, they're an outstanding football team. All right, this time we'll go to questions for Coastal Carolina head coach Joe Moglia. To ask a question, please press star 1 on your phone at any time. Or click the Q&A link near the top of your browser and click raise hand if you join us via the web. Questions for Coastal Carolina head coach, Joe Mowgli. Hey, coach, first question for you is a media member based in Athens, Georgia. I don't have her name, so please introduce yourself uh, before your question of coach. I can't hear anybody if you're on the line. I do have a question for uh, Coach Mowgli. I don't have a name. If you've indicated you needed a question of Coach, please uh, proceed. Coach, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. This is Josh Kendall. I'm with the State Newspaper in Columbia. How are you? I'm good, Josh. Thanks. When your guys roll in on Sunday or Monday or whenever the first time is you see them after the game, do they believe they can beat South Carolina? Or do you feel like you have to coach them up and say, we can do this? No, I don't have to coach them up. I think, uh, I think they understand the way we approach things, Josh. I think for us, um, for us it's, it's, a, it's a matter of we have a mission at Coastal. We talk about putting a team on the field that anybody connected with our university is going to be proud of. Now, we know winning is an important part of that. But what that really means if we represent our people, we represent a university, it means you literally take the field, you give it everything you've got. Uh, we don't have any rules with, inside our program other than, one, than the ones with the university or the NCAA, but we have a simple standard, which is not easy to live up to, but we do it. Uh, stand on your own two feet, set responsibility for yourself, and recognize that a man's going to live with the consequences of his actions. So from the very, very beginning of the week, on Sunday it's a matter of understanding kind of what we could have done better the previous day. And, and, and then, then, frankly, over the span of the next 48 hours, it's a focus on what our game plan is going to be what everybody's individual role is in that. And then, then once you understand what you need to do mentally, you need to hone those skills throughout the span of the week so you get ready to go, to go on Saturday. So for us, it's a total commitment to that type of preparation. And then it's you give it everything you've got when you get out on the field. And then whatever the results of that day is going to be, we can handle. Is there a script, is there a particular way this game needs to go for you guys to have a shot? Yeah, I... Yeah, I think that uh, for, from an offensive perspective, we've got to, uh, we can't have any turnovers. We can't have stupid penalties. Uh, we can't give up a big play on special teams. And we, we, we can't, um, and we, we can't give up big plays from a defensive perspective. We understand they're going to move the ball against us, but we can't give up big plays. Uh, so they, when they score, if they score, they're going to have to, they, they need to work for that. Uh, and then I think in terms of South Carolina, South Carolina is going to have to do the opposite. They're going to have to make, make some mistakes. They're going to have to have some critical penalties. They're going to have to have a couple of turnovers. 
uh, they're going to have to make a couple of mistakes in their coverage. And, you know, those things happen. It'll be an interesting game in the fourth quarter. What does it do for your program, or if, if, if anything, do you think it benefits your program to play South Carolina? I know they play an in-state school, a non-Clemson in-state school every year. Um, uh, the You mean South Carolina plays an in-state school every right. year? Right. Yeah, okay. does, yeah. does the exposure well, in this game help you what you're doing? Well, I think I think it's, it's we all recognize certainly, Josh, that, that it's a very very big game for our team. We recognize it's a big game for our players, and we recognize we're going to get some exposure for that. Uh, you know, and to an extent that that helps, that would be the plus associated with the game. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Josh. Thank you, Josh. And Coach, I'm not seeing any more uh, questions for you, so we'll go ahead and let you go. I appreciate you joining okay, us all year, and good luck Saturday at South Carolina. Thanks a lot, Mark. All right, thank you. And that will conclude uh, this week's uh, football teleconference, our regular season portion. We'll continue with the coaches of the Big South playoff teams next week. More information on that will follow. But, again, my thanks to all the coaches and media for participating all year. Uh, the recording of this week's call will be available for playback on BigSouthSports.com. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great rest of the week.